Hello again, this is Fiendish with DimensionTuring.com and welcome to this installment of the updated Tinker Tools video guides. This time we're going to be talking about the Alphabet Typewriter. Uh, we don't have letters to make dimension words. Uh, you can morph your own using building blocks, faces, whatever, um, or you can use, there, there's two fonts here. Uh, it does capital letters. What I'm showing right now is the Magneto font. And we're going to do one with the Lone Ranger so we can see how it works. There are some limitations with the alphabet. There's no punctuation, there's no numbers, and you can only do one word at a time. So I'm going to put in word tinker. We're going to use the other font this time, the Lone Ranger font. The Magneto font here uses all poles. Lone Ranger uses um, planks and squares. And you have three sizes that you can choose from. You got small, medium, and large. We're going to go with medium uh, because these are actually pretty good size. And in category, uh, basically what category does your building block fall under? Like glass, ice, matte black, water. I'm not going to put matte black over a matte black background because then you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, glowing blocks, which also cover the blocks that are blinking. Uh, so you can get real creative about what kind of stuff you want to use here. You've got your painted woods, so on and so forth down the line. Um, I know I've got plenty of limestone, so that's what I'm going to use. Now if you want to know exactly how many pieces your word is going to take, you can click the material list and it will show you right there with the icons. Uh, I need 32 squares and 12 planks. So I know I have that in my bags. And then you can select whether you want it to go horizontal, like the word tinker does here, or vertical, like the word tools does there. So there's not really any way to guarantee where your word is going to appear. So you may have to rotate it, you may have to uh, do other things to get it where you want it to be. So let's go ahead and just hit load word. See where it shows up. Ah, right here. And so to get it to fit on our background, we're going to rotate it. And I know I haven't really covered that, but this is just going to be like a really simple uh, thing here. This is a nice Old West kind of font. Um, if you're doing an Old West Town, I think you could probably play around with it and maybe get um, a lower item item count on the words. Because this is 44 pieces for one word. That's So to rotate it now to match, I haven't covered rotating yet, but I'm going to go 90, relative, and as group. and then can back it up until it's good on my thing. And then we'll do with the next one and go vertical. Twenty-eight squares, twelve planks. Ouch. And pretty much it's going to put itself together. Uh, so maybe in this instance you could say that it does build for you, but you have to know what you want it to spell. And if you spell it right, uh, if you have a misspelling, then it's going to show up as being spelled wrong. And, and people may laugh. And that is pretty much how Tinker Tools, the alphabet function works. If you want some simple lettering again, doesn't do uh, punctuation marks and there are no numbers. So if you need numbers, you're still going to have to morph your own. And that's pretty much going to cover it for this episode. Uh, next time we'll be talking about 
the connector tool, which is a brand new feature of, of Tinker Tools. Just came out with 1.3.1. So until next time, happy building.